hearing from doctors is that the majority of the injuries are to people's lower bodies. But there are injuries of many different kinds. There are burns as well, shrapnel kinds of wounds. Right. We saw the injuries we were seeing was mostly to people's legs. Uh, I saw a woman who appeared to have lost uh, a good portion of her jaw, uh, lots of lacerations. The scene coming out of it was not hysterical. Uh, keep in mind that this was at the end of the marathon, so that the runners that were injured were exhausted from the run, and the spectators who were injured were simply in total shock. And as if the news weren't bad enough already, Bob, we understand now stations in Boston reporting that one of the two dead was an eight-year-old child. This gives you a sense of where we are when we're talking about these explosions. The finish line there on Boylston Street, the first explosion, maybe, maybe 50 yards up the street, 15 to 20 seconds later, maybe, maybe 50 yards up the street, 15 to 20 seconds later, we understand now that is in this league. That last minute. And uh, traded. The tip on that guy up with a crossbar. And police confirmed two people were killed, and reports are that more than 100 were injured. We will continue to update you with any news as it becomes available throughout the night. We can tell you that as a result, the NHL has postponed the game between the Ottawa Senators and the Boston Bruins. That was set for tonight at TD Garden. The game will be rescheduled. The details are still being worked out. The league did issue this statement. The NHL wishes to express its sympathy to all affected by the tragic events that took place in, the, in Boston earlier this afternoon. And we here at NBC Sports certainly do as well. My NHL Live co-hosts are Keith Jones and Jeremy Roenick. It's obviously a very difficult day for all of us, especially for you, JR. From the Boston area, it hits close yeah, to home. Yeah, it does hit close to home. You know, being on the phone trying to find out your friends and loved ones, making sure they're okay. And, being from there, you know that this is the happiest, most celebrated day in Boston, Patriots Day. I mean, people from all over the world come in to compete and enjoy the festivities in Boston. And, uh, you know, being next to that. Absolutely, positively urinated down his leg. I thought he was going to miss that. I thought he was going to miss that putt in the first playoff. Right. right, it was a little one. I thought he was yeah. going to miss it. I thought I Cabrera too. made the chip too. Uh, Cabrera is amazing. It's just an amazing clutch. It's the event. No one's taking credit. Oh uh, that I know of, and, and sources of mine are saying that it's still unattributed to who did it and and, uh, and why they did it. As far as the crudeness of the devices, we saw it, it almost reminded me of the Centennial Bar uh, Park bombing at the Atlanta Olympics in 1996, mm. where you had roofing nails in plastic food containers attached to the explosive so that when the bomb went off, it spread those nails through the air, and one of them actually killed a woman who uh, turned around uh, at the wrong time when the explosive went off. So to put crude device together, maybe a pipe bomb, maybe uh, you know some. 2008. Round up. With insights from local experts across the world, we have a unique perspective on global investing. Franklin Templeton Investments. Gain from our perspective. <laughs> T Rex. Oh, Fred, I'm having trouble.